Scotland. This wild and beautiful country stole our hearts last year. And now we're back to walk the West Highland Way, Scotland's most loved long distance walking route. It runs 96 miles from Mulgai to Fort William in the country's rugged and wild highlands. Today we set off for our first day on the trail. As we begin this journey, wow. our endurance. You got this, B. And our shoe choices <sighs> will be tested. I do not understand what is going on. There's gonna be gorgeous views, a lot of animals. How'd they go? Great food. And even a few drams of whiskey. The distillery right on the trail. We're Brian and Crystal, and this is Von Halla Adventures. Thank you for watching. Wow, I fit so much stuff in here. I'm packed up for the summer. We realized it's gonna be Brian's 50th birthday for the West Highland Way. It's gonna be cool. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. We landed in Glasgow yesterday and made our way to Mulgai, which is about seven miles north of the city center. We picked up our passports at this cute little shop. Our first day at B. Yeah, cool. Along with some last minute snacks and necessities. We've been busy packing, planning, and training for this trip for a few months now. And I can't believe the time has come to actually begin this walk. All right, day one. Here we go. This will be our first trek together as a couple. And thankfully, we're used to living in small spaces, but it's still a new experience for us. I don't, I don't want to climb up that. I don't feel like doing that. After walking 500 miles on the Camino de Santiago last year, I learned that foot care is imperative and one of the most critical parts of being able to complete a trek like this. So it's the one thing we're gonna be spending time taking care of each morning before we begin walking for the day. Today we are beginning with a pretty chill first day, which will be a good warm up for the rest of the trip. Walking just about 12 miles from Mulgai to Drimmen. I can't believe we're finally here. Here we are. How are you feeling about the start of this? I don't know what I'm about to get into. I'm just kind of rolling with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling excited, way more calmer compared to my last trek when I did walk the Camino de Santiago. I remember how nervous I was and first day well, on the Camino, I feel kind of like I'm gonna vomit. There was a lot of emotion to it. And this time I feel way more prepared. I was thinking about why I'm doing this one, besides the fact that I love Scotland. Right now, I feel like I'm carrying a lot of just emotional baggage from some family stuff that I've had going on this past year, really a couple years, and kind of want to walk that off. Yeah, I trust that I'll get whatever answers I need during this walk. Do you have any goals? My goal is to finish. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, I, I kind of do have a goal. It'd be nice to lose like five, 10 pounds by the time we get to the, the end of this trek. That'd be nice to, if that happens. It will happen. <laughs> like Brian, one of my goals for this walk is definitely a physical aspect. We're walking in spring and it's currently mid-May. All the flowers are starting to come out so we're getting some bluebells. So pretty. A few months ago, I found out I had a degenerative disc in my back, and it lit a fire in me to be more athletic than I really have in years. I want to see the world, but not just by a car or a van. I want to see all the wild and remote places and areas while testing myself physically each day. One thing I got to say about hiking on this trail is this is the perfect weather for hiking. It's like 60 degrees, cloudy, slight little cool breeze. I could walk. 
100 miles in this condition. Oh wait, that's what we're doing. Awesome. When I first looked at that elevation gate on all trails, it was, looked like it was gonna be really straight up, but it's like such a gradual 1500 feet elevation gate. I'm not quite sure what the meters are. I'll put it on the screen somewhere. After walking for a couple miles today, I realized that I'm not necessarily looking to lose weight so much as I'm looking to get stronger and challenge myself physically. I recently turned 50, and I want to feel healthy as I enter this new phase of my life. I got to watch Crystal walk the Camino, and I thought there was no way I could do something like that, but here I am. I was apprehensive to do this because I knew Crystal went through some really difficult moments on the Camino, but I love Scotland, and I guess I want to see what I am capable of. Oh, we're at a point where there's big open landscapes and just endless beauty. It's amazing. The sun's out. What a it's perfect weather right now. It's amazing. Oh, baby lamb. Look it. One of my goals, too, is to see some Highland cows up close and personal. I heard they're really friendly. So, and you know, if you watched my Camino video, which I'll put right here, how scared I was. Oh my God, this is terrifying right now, you guys. Do you see this? If we don't see a Highland cow on the next 100 miles, I'm very disappointed. Sweet. It almost smells like suntan lotion. I know, it's crazy. So pretty. You know how we just said we needed to see Highland Caps? Look at it. These are the first cows I've ever wanted to snuggle. Oh my god, they got these tiny little stubby legs and they're all hairy. Oh my god. Bee, we saw our first highly cow. We were just talking about it. We haven't seen one yet. There they are. Is that a distillery right there? Might be that, okay, we're probably not saying this right, but Glengoyne, Glengoyne Distillery. I just want to put a whole thing on this video. Our pronunciation of Scottish names is not well, even though we practiced beforehand. So we're sorry, we're doing our best. Oh, that's totally it. That it is? You want to go. To the distillery, <laughs> right there. Let's check it out. Okay. Distillery right on the trail. I'm just gonna pop in here and check it out. I'm excited. Yeah, I mean, sure, why not? <laughs> okay, so we don't have enough time for a tour, and they only had one slot, which we don't really want to do a tour anyway. We're just gonna get like a little tester, a little wee drum. Excellent. <laughs> Are you feeling jazzed to go now? I am jazzed, ready to go. That was a nice little treat. Yeah. Has rock, man. Let's do it. All right, ready to go. That's Brian after a wee dram. I just want to mention that.
to Honesty Box and What's an fresh box? juice, free water refill, and box? like fun kind of stuff. An Honesty Box is basically when you take something, you're honest that you leave the money. Sometimes it's donation, sometimes it's a suggested amount. So if you need something, so this is one of those times when I got cash out in case we ever needed anything so I could always put money into a box for us in case we ever need anything. Nobody's there to actually take the money if that makes sense. So here's what the honesty box is. Spring water, oh wow. Lip balms, marshmallows for whatever reason. Oh wow, that's some good stuff in there. Midge nets. Oh, midge nets. We already have those. Butane. Some nice stuff. Yeah. And I'll put a mark down here about where this is on the map. Huh. Do you want to go check it out just for fun? Yeah, uh, I'm looking for like an iced coffee. That sounds pretty good. Okay, let's try it. That was a really cool stop. If you needed to get some food on your own, I would have ate there. We're waiting. A nice little sitting area too. They have plenty of uh, gluten-free and vegan options and just a bunch of stuff if you're backpacking, some snacks and things like that. That was cool. This is only the second time we've been to Scotland together and Brian and I just really want somebody to let us in here for good. We're trying good. to live here. So anybody know how? Let us know. I really want to look into it. I don't ever like, I don't want to leave. I've been great all day, but this yeah. last mile and a half, just these big hills, and I'm just getting tired. Now my feet are starting to hurt. I'm done. I'm done for the day. Yeah. Almost there. We got like 10 minutes. Yeah. We have enough time to shower. We timed it okay today. And then a 15-minute walk to dinner. We can always take a taxi. We have to. Car. Ah. Cool. Okay, so... I thought this issue was resolved with the boots that I've been wearing consistently for the past six months, but I'm having an issue. So I, I wore waterproof boots because that was suggested for Scotland because of the rain, yada, yada. However, on the Camino, when I wore a boot, something happened to my ankle where it really hurt and it was like my tendon or something just got really messed up. So I got these boots, I got them wide, I've been wearing them, everything seemed fine, but the pain is now back. And last time you guys watched that, I had to walk down a hill in flip-flops. Now I'm gonna have to ditch these shoes because they're really bad. I do not understand what is going on. Such a bummer. Thankfully, just in case this happened, I packed a pair of trainers. And you know what, it's weird because when I take off boots, my ankles just, just fine, it's, it feels fine. That's why when I went to the podiatrist, it was like, oh, it's fine. But then when I wear boots, any boots, even my blundstones at home, it does this. Back to the old trusty ultras. <sighs> How many pairs of boots did I buy at REI? About 20? All of them. Yeah, I bought so many boots and I t tested each one and these were the only ones that I was like, okay, I think these will work. Man, this last mile, going right up this big old hill. Oh. <laughs> Everything was so great until this last mile. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful though. It is beautiful, but... Oof.
You got this, B. You got this. Oh, there you go. Run. Oh, run. <laughs> Last mile. I feel like I know from experience. <laughs> Always the most difficult. Sometimes we have like 300 feet. Where is this place? I think Bee's having a really difficult time right now. But we're here. We made it. <sighs> take your time, take your time. Okay. <sighs> oh my gosh. Brian and I just ran into the bed and breakfast we're staying in. Oh my gosh. I feel good. Sweaty, but good. After I change my shoes, I'm good. My feet definitely hurt, but they're just sore as in I'm not used to doing 12 miles. Um, it's been a hot minute. It's been a few weeks since I've gone hiking. So but look at our cute little bed and breakfast room. Got a couple of beds over there in case Brian and I don't feel like hanging out with each other. We got this over here. There's the bathroom. And it was let's see, 105 pounds for two people with a full Scottish breakfast. And she is doing vegan, gluten-free for me and vegan for Brian. So that's with breakfast included. So you could really divide this with a few people. How you doing? Oh man, that was a hot entrance. <laughs> that was a close call. <sighs> you need to lay down for a minute. Wow. Here, BB. <laughs> you look like you're struggling. Oh, B. Oh, man. Get some electrolytes in you. Oh, wow. Oh, is that good? That's amazing. I'm actually feeling pretty good, guys. But I'm going to get ready for dinner. So we're heading out to dinner. We are late. I can't walk that fast right now. I'm trying, but Crystal is way ahead of me, so we don't get bumped off this reservation. Way over there. <laughs> she is on a mission. Well, Bee's having a really hard time <laughs> walking. So I'm getting to dinner reservations first. Apparently, this is the oldest bar or pub in Scotland. It's licensed since 1734. Pretty cool. How are you doing? Last thing I want to do is walk a mile after a, for dinner. <laughs> no, dude, never again. Brian and I made this just yesterday and we got the last time slot. They're turning people away here and the bar portion is 100% at capacity as well. I don't know, but I got hair on my face. Can you take it? Oh, it's like really, wow, it's sticking. Uh. I can't, what is going on with the hair? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Did you just lick it? Yeah, because I gotta get it to stick. <laughs> that was great. Oh, How man. are you feeling? I feel a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. A couple whiskeys and now I don't care <laughs> how I feel. See how I feel tomorrow morning. Yeah, I think it's time to just chill. It was nice to actually walk after the walk. I'm yeah. excited for tomorrow. And yeah, I think it's just time to go to bed, you guys. Yeah. 
Was it like eight o'clock? <laughs> I don't care. The sun's still up. Who cares? <laughs> I think that's a whiskey also talking. Yeah. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss any more of our West Highland Way videos. And be sure to check the description below for the rest of the series. See you we'll next see. week. Bye. We turn off. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs>